Well, we now know more about the man whose body was buried in the woods behind a Seven Hills home over the weekend. 58-year-old Joseph Kopp was well known around Seven Hills. He was a homeless man who had been staying with the man now charged with his murder, Frank Dennis, who says he is innocent. News Channel 5's Deborah Lee spoke with two of Joe Kopp's siblings today. This was something that some of my siblings and I thought would be his end. It was the call Paul Kopp always feared. His brother Joe was found murdered in the woods behind this house in Seven Hills. A man described as a harmless eccentric, compassionate and helpful, but difficult to live with because of mental illness. His mental illness was really pretty severe in terms of the relationship to the family. He, he thought we were all out to get him. So he, he cut off his relationships with us. He spent time down in Cleveland, uh, staying at uh, homeless shelters for several years. But he always came back to Seven Hills, and I believe that the Dean's family uh, felt sorry for him, and they uh, offered to let him sleep in their basement. Seven Hills Police Chief Gary Durkin says Frank Dennis has been charged with Joe Cop's murder. He doesn't know exactly when Joe died, but he says nobody has seen him around for about a month. It was a month ago that Joe's brother got a phone call from the Deanna's home. I can said that they recently had to uh, have him put out of the house, and she was uh, uh, quizzing us on what we could do to help him because she thought that he might have needed some, some help at the time, and uh, he was very resistant to... Um, getting help. Well, Joe never got the help, and tonight his family wonders was he even alive when that call was made. In Seven Hills, Deborah Lee, News Channel.